tonight. Tens of thousands of fans waited in a line for hours just to get a glimpse inside Houston's iconic Astrodome. The, the dome coming, as it was called, was the final opportunity for fans to tour the eighth wonder of the world before renovations began. Our Sophia Beausoleil also got a look inside. She's joining us live from NRG Park with all the excitement and the law. My goodness, they're not all still in, right? Bill, this line is still wrapped around the building. This was supposed to end at 8 o'clock. At this point, this may be going on for another hour. And you can take a look behind me. Thousands of fans are waiting for a chance to take a look inside. You know, I ran into some high school classmates from Cinco Ranch and Katy, and they told me they waited for about an hour and a half. But everyone who finishes the tour says it was worth the wait. played regularly in the 80s uh, in the Astrodome, but I played every home game for the Astros. For Jim Connors, it's as though the Astros played in the Astrodome just yesterday. I had a lot of fun telling people I used to play for the Astros. Memories many Houstonians got to revisit Monday evening as around 25,000 people toured the eighth wonder of the world. It's great to be here today. It was the people who worked behind the scenes and on the field who helped bring the building to life, just like Barbara Hauser, who wore her original Usher uniform to the dome coming. I was a space at in the opening game, April the 9th, 1965, when the Astros played the Yankees. And President Johnson was here, a number of astronauts, and this was the greatest spot on the planet Earth to be that night. The Astrodome is a time capsule full of historic mementos and reminders of Houston's rich history in sports. And this is unbelievable just to be back here to see what it looked like 35 years later and uh, just the first game ever first game ever played in here I was uh, I was on the team in 1968 after several years the debate on whether to demolish the dome is over and the historic site will instead get a makeover this fall we need to preserve our icon it was the first domed stadium ever and it set the stage for all of the others that have come after it. Certainly want to give a lot of credit to County Judge Ed Emmon and, and the commissioners for just preserving it. While many are happy the Astrodome has a future. Oh, this is really rewarding. I wish my parents were here to see this. Today is just about remembering the past. This is my childhood area. This is my, this is the eighth wonder of the world. And right now you're taking a live look at the old stadium chairs that you used to see when the Astros played here in the Dome. I remember that and went here as a little kid. It's been a while, but you know, in two years, this will be renovated. It's a $105 million project. And to give you an example of what they're going to be doing, this will become an event space. And actually where I'm standing will become parking spots. They'll have about 1,400 of them. But they say that this is a way to generate money, not only for NRG, but possible future projects. Reporting live from the Astrodome, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News. So